What's up guys, this is your boy Red Cloud. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to mine two different algorithms on one single mining rig. So to do this, you're gonna need at least two graphics cards or more. Let's go check out my mining rig and I'll show you guys how we do it. Shout out to my boy Kai. So I started up my mining rig for two different algorithms now. Before this, they were both mining flux, but I'll show you guys how easy it is to set this up so you guys can split your mining in two. So I've got my 1070 Ti here. We're chilling mining XRP on unminable if you guys want a video on how to mine xrp or shiba inu click on the video right now and then we've got a gtx 1050 ti which i'm actually going to do a hardware review on i'll show you guys the hash rate what you can expect to make on a graphics card like this and then we've got everything here on the cheap little dell oem board both the slots uh, over there. I can't get a splitter to work on this motherboard, unfortunately. Uh, it just doesn't have, I think, the bandwidth or something. I don't know. Someone who knows that stuff, comment below. Uh, we've got the Pico power supply powering the entire motherboard, plus a fan in the back there. And then everything is being powered by a 900 watt platinum server power supply. If you guys want a um, way to get a platinum power supply and a pico power supply you guys can check out parallel miner in the description of the video anyway let's head over here to the actual miner so what we do to swap between miners is we press Control aa and then that swaps us over to where this is mining flux so we're currently mining flux on miner pool and then um yeah so basically the efficiency it's at 12.6 souls and then it's running at 66 watts, so it's really not too much. Uh, and then we just swap back to see that we're mining, basically mining Ethereum on uh, unminable. And then that's gonna be exchanged into XRP. So I'll show you guys how to set this up in HiveOS. Boys, so if you guys are new to HiveOS and you guys haven't signed up, be sure to sign up with the link in the description below and use code REDCLOUD. It gets you guys free $10 to mine for free on HiveOS for three months. So be sure to set that up. So we're here in our farm and you guys are probably like, why is this guy's name Toe Farm? Don't worry about it. Not important. What's important is we get you mining. Okay. Let's head over to our wallets and make sure that we have our wallets set up properly. So first things first, you guys will want to have the wallets that you guys will be mining for. So we've got our Flux wallet and then we've got our Shiba Inu wallet. This is a BEP20 Shiba Inu wallet. Um, that I'm mining to and then um, like I said if you guys don't know how to mine Toshiba I got a video up it's very popular so go check it out anyway um, once you guys have set up your wallets uh, we'll go over to flight sheets and then this is where it gets pretty cool because we can actually run multiple flight sheets at the same time so for the coin ticker for the first one let's say we want our first card running which is our my 1070 Ti so we'll go to flux and then we'll go to our wallet. We'll add our wallet, go to pool and flux natively is in hive OS. So uh, we'll be able to add it straight to here. So minorpool.org. And then on my 1070 Ti, we can run it on a variable diff for NA. Um, so each of these, you're, you're going to have to know how to set up your actual coin. Uh, this is just an example uh, for the miner. We'll just set it up in G minor. The minor is really where it's it's the most important thing. So set up minor config is where we're gonna go. And then um, you know, you can fill all the stuff in. If you guys don't know what your actual rig needs, like uh just watch a few other videos. I have a lot of other videos that explain this stuff. But where we're gonna really be focusing our uh, our mind here is the extra config arguments. Every single miner has an extra configuration. Um, slot that you guys can fill information for. Uh, usually they have it basically explained here. It's usually in the devices or GPU or NVIDIA's explaining it. Basically right here, um, we've got devices 0, 1, 3. So some devices are either named device 1, 2, or 3, and some of them are 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So for G minor, this is a great example. Um, it uses device zero. So device zero is actually your first graphics card. So since we're using our first graphics card, my 1070 Ti, this is perfect for this. So I would just hit apply here. We can go ahead and add the next miner. So for the next miner, the coin ticker is the Shiba Inu wallet. Um, and then the pool, um, we're actually going to configure this one in minor. 
and then go over here and we're going to pick um, T-Rex Miner for this one. T-Rex Miner is a fantastic miner. All right, so we filled that stuff in for the sake of the video. What we're going to do is we're going to hit devices here. All of these have this, so it's very easy to set that up. And then what we'll do is we'll actually change this because this is our second GPU. Uh, so we would use device one. Uh, most of the miners use zero as the first one, just an FYI. Uh, the only one that does not do that, from what I can tell, is Phoenix Miner. So keep that in mind when you're using Phoenix Miner. Uh, once you've hit this, you'll have to obviously, you know, test it to see if it works. Uh, but most of the time, if you guys set this up appropriately, like you follow along with the video, you guys should be able to set this up fine. Uh, I'm going to name this um, sub to me because you should. Uh, and then we're going to create the flight sheet. All right, we're back at my worker. So I'm going to click my worker and then I'm going to launch select flight sheet, uh, launch flight sheet, whatever. Um, and then we're going to look for... Uh, sub to me uh, and then click it and then hit apply and then you will launch your miner and I'll show you guys it mining in two seconds. Hi right, guys so here's the proof in the pudding we got the MSI 1070 Ti mining by itself on G miner and then we have a T-Rex miner also running which has got the 1050 Ti and that is mining on ETC hash so simple enough uh, really not too complicated uh, it did take a little bit of finicking for me to first figure it out. So if it takes you a little bit, just comment in the section below and I will answer every single question for you guys. Hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It seriously helps me out a lot. Going to be having some Twitch streams soon as well as a new Discord coming in the next few weeks. So be sure to tune into that. Thank you again for watching the video. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to comment in the section below. I literally read and comment and respond to every single comment. So just an FYI. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out.